Hey guys, it's Bella and welcome back to another video. So right now it's super, super late, mind you. I was supposed to get this done hours ago, <laughs> but I didn't. So it's super late. I'm really, really tired. I look like a mess because I had work today. We're here for it. So like if I seem really like down, it's because I'm very, very tired and I'm trying not to be tired. But as you guys can see by the title, today is my Christmas wish list gift guide video. I did this video last year. If you guys want to go check it out, um, I'll leave it up in the eye up here. Today, I'm just gonna be doing pretty much the same thing I did last year. I'm definitely a lot more organized this year and I'm a lot more upbeat. Last year, I remember when I recorded this, I was very, very sick. I also think I have more items. A lot of them might be like the same relatively anyways, but I tried really hard to like think of everything that I possibly can for this video. I just got my computer right here with a whole bunch of notes on them um, of basically just a big list that I made. I do wanna let you guys know that there is a special giveaway at the end of this video and I'm super, super excited to announce it because this is gonna be my first giveaway on my channel. So stay tuned for that. But basically I organize this into categories. And so the first category is clothes and accessories. My second category is room decor. My third category is electronics and appliances. I don't, and then I have like beauty. Then I kind of just have like a random section slash like a hobby section. So then I have like small stocking stuffers. And then finally I have like sentimental, meaningful DIY gift ideas that you guys can give. So that's all the sections. Um, I'm gonna have the time cards hopefully up on the screen somewhere. And I also have them down below in the description box. So if you guys wanna go anywhere specific on this list, then you guys can. Like I said, I'm gonna have the giveaway at the end of the video and I'll let you guys know what I'm giving away, who I'm collaborating with, cause it is kind of a collaboration um, giveaway and what all the rules are and all that kind of stuff. So let's get into it. A big PSA, a lot of these things I guarantee you guys can find from small businesses. I just really wanna encourage you guys to buy from small businesses, buy from black businesses, or if you want to, it would really help some people out and I just think it'd be a really good idea to buy from small businesses. But yeah, I just wanted to put that little PSA out in there in the front because I'm not gonna link everything but down below. I'm not gonna have where you can get these specific things, but I'm just gonna give you guys ideas. So if you guys did not hear something that you think would be a really good thing for people to put on their Christmas list or to give other people, I definitely suggest putting your um, suggestions down in the comments. If they're turned on, I really hope they're turned on. But yeah so if you guys have any suggestions make sure you put them down below in the comments for people to see but yeah so let's just get right into it my first section category is clothes and accessories the first thing that i have on my list is sunglasses you can get like the super cute ones or you can get actual sunglasses that protect your eyes like actually from the sun you can ask for shoes i don't you can do van converse nike air force ones nike cortez shoes nike air maxes i have a real big obsession right now with the 97s and the 270s i love those I really want some. Um, I said some Uggs or just like boots. I really like the Ugg slides. Um, if you guys did not see my birthday video, I got some Ugg slides for my birthday. Then I put Crocs on there. Um, you can get like the fuzzy Crocs, the regular Crocs. But if you do get Crocs for somebody or you ask for Crocs, you could ask for gibbets. I think that's what they're called, gibbets. The little thingies that you put in the Crocs that like make them decorative. You can ask for some gibbets. You could ask just for regular slippers, Birkenstocks, and then finally just like slides. And I put down graphic tees because I know a lot of the cute graphic tees are pretty expensive and graphic tees is like a really big thing right now. You can pretty much wear them with anything so i said graphic tees i said hoodies because like can you really go wrong with a hoodie no i said sweatsuits and by sweatsuits i mean like the juicy couture sweatsuits like the velvet sweatsuits like because i also said tracksuits and when i think tracksuits i kind of think of nike tracksuits like the hoodies and the joggers but like i don't know i feel like they're different like they just give me different vibes so i just put both those down i said joggers i also had a cute pajama set i also said a robe this is like it's not clothes, but like it goes in the, like it goes with your clothes. I just said getting like asking for like all matching hangers. I really like the look of velvet hangers. Then I said leggings. Um, I was mostly talking about athletic leggings. So like um, I put down Gymshark, Lululemon, um, Fabletics, and Athletica. I also said a big winter jacket, like um, whether it's like one of the fluffy ones or just a regular like winter jacket. Um, then I put down hats. I don't know. 
I just put down like hats, like beanies, sports team hats. Along to go with like the sports team hats, I also put down like sports team apparel or college apparel. Then I put down jeans. Then I put down jewelry. And like when I say jewelry in like the clothes and accessories section, I don't mean like expensive like chains and necklaces from Pandora and all that kind of stuff. I'm talking about like the cheap dainty jewelry that like people ever that everybody be wearing, like the jewelry that you would wear on the daily and wouldn't be upset if like it got rusted or something. So I'm just talking about like cheaper um jewelry or small business jewelry. I'm sure you can find some Instagram pages and some Etsy pages and all that kind of stuff to get some cute jewelry. So I was talking about earrings, necklaces, bracelets, anklets, rings, all that kind of stuff. I know all that's super popular right now. And then finally on this section, the very last part of this section, I said like a thrifting or vintage like shopping spree. Like so if someone wanted to take you thrifting or vintage shopping or whatever the case may be, I know that's a really big thing right now. So that was the end of like the clothing and accessories section. Okay, so the next section is room decor. The first thing I have is a salt lamp. If you can't see, I got one right over there. Um, new shelves and stuff like that. So I just said new furniture. So I said like a new bed, a new mattress, um, a new dresser, a new desk, like um, a vanity, a bedside table, any kind of new furniture that you would like for your room or for really anywhere. Like I said mirrors because mirrors are also very expensive. I got both my body mirror and my desk mirror from ikea they're both super nice you get mirrors pretty much anywhere um but i definitely recommend ikea because the price is really good at ikea cds and records just as like decoration i put down posters and artwork then i said vines i had said um led lights or some form of lights so like um the strip lights like the ones that i have on my wall um you can get like the fairy lights like the ones that like fall down you know and then i also see that said like galaxy projectors like i said a wall collage um i know that like it's pretty easy for you to like figure out pictures that you want to put on your wall yourself and then print them out um but there's also super cute um wall collage sets that you can get, actually get i said new curtains or like new blinds but, like a new bed set so a new comforter set some new sheets to go along with the new bed set i said like pillows so then i said like a bean bag or a spare chair if you an led sign like one of those neon signs but i then said like paint for your bedroom so like if you really really wanted to redo your bedroom you could always ask for like paint or supplies or whatever to redo your bedroom i then said like makeup um organizers i also then said a vanity mirror so like i then said blankets i kind of put this just in the room decor section just because like it could be room decor so i said like a throw blanket i also said a heated or a weighted blanket weighted blankets are really good for people with anxiety um heated blankets really good for people who are cold um, jewelry organizer or a jewelry box like a perfume tray i say crystals i kind of put them in room decor but like it's also not really room decor because like crystals actually do something and like mean something but like i kind of put it there and then said an essential oil diffuser then i also put down like a list of car accessories that you could ask obviously like a car accessory is like not the same as a room decor but i put it in the same section just because it's all like decor essentially heat covers or seat belt covers little smelly things i don't know what they're called and ask for like a new license plate what is it like the license plate cover and emblem cover yeah one of those i also said like a steering wheel cover and then finally a phone mount then the last two items in the home decor section are memo boards and plants but that is the last section for room decor so the next section is electronics and appliances so here we go my first thing that i have on there is like a blender i also said a juicer panini press and i also said a george foreman grill then i said like a vacuum so like either one of like the little portable ones like the little handheld ones or just like a regular like really nice vacuum i said like a waffle or a crepe maker then i made like a little section for coffee lovers keurig espresso machine uh, an espresso machine french press um a milk frother or like the little reusable k cups too then i said like an electric toothbrush water flosser then i put like down some super expensive items that would be like super super nice if someone got those for you for christmas a new computer a new phone like a tablet or an ipad a stylus or like an apple pencil to go with that ipad or I also put down a kindle put down a fitbit an apple watch some sort of smart watch go along with all that kind of stuff i also said that you guys could get cases for your products so if you wanted to get a case for your computer a case for your phone wireless headphones so like beats or airpods or a case for your airpods to go along with like the apple watch fitbit thing you could ask for like a new band for the watch you could ask for like a regular charger i know long chargers come super super in handy or you could ask for like a wireless charger you could ask for a car charger like a new speaker so like a bluetooth speaker water tooth speaker water tooth waterproof <laughs> 
a waterproof speaker. If your car does not have a good radio or you want like a GPS system with a backup camera or anything like that, you could always ask for like a new radio for your car along with like whatever system you want to put in there. Then in this section, I also put subscriptions to like Netflix, Hulu, Disney+, Plus, HBO, all that kind of stuff. Then I also put like music subscriptions. So Spotify, use Apple Music. So ask for Amazon Prime. If you have an Xbox or a PS4 or something like that, you could ask for like the, um, whatever the subscription for them is so that you can like play online. I think for PlayStation, it's like PlayStation Plus and for Xbox, it's Xbox Live. So then I said, if like you are any kind of YouTuber or any time type of producer of any sort you can ask for like different editors so like for youtubers a lot of them use final cut pro any other editing software like i think adobe costs money you could ask for adobe if that's what you want to use or if like you're into making music you could always ask for like a music editor and the next thing that i put down is like a record player i said a camera and then i separated it into like different sections so like if you're a youtuber or you want to start a youtube you could ask for like a video camera so like the canon g7x something like that you know um if you're like into more photography, you can ask for like some sort of photography camera. Then finally, I also put down like a Polaroid camera. I then said a ring light. I then said blue light blocking glasses. Because I then said like a new TV. If you're long to go with the new TV, you could ask for a TV mount. Something that I didn't put on this list, but now that I'm just thinking about it, you can ask for like a Fire Stick or um, Apple TV. Or then I said a tripod. I then said like a Google Home or an Amazon Alexa. Then I said like a gaming console. So like if you're into um, PCs, you could get PC parts or something like that to build up your PC. You can ask for an Xbox, you can ask for a PlayStation. I know. Unlock to go with your gaming console, you could ask for like new controllers. Then again, to go with that, I said um, video games. Then I said a printer. You just wanna use a printer just to print out some photos. You can ask for like a personal little printer, like the portable ones, Polaroid printers, which you can get as well to turn any photo on your phone pretty much into a Polaroid. You can get a microphone. So whether you're like getting a microphone cause you do music, whether you're getting a microphone because you're editing and you do a lot of voiceovers, um, whether you're getting a microphone because you want to do karaoke in your car, whatever, you could ask for some sort of microphone. I also said like a computer table, a computer stand or whatever. Um, I said like a pot and pan set or I said a popcorn maker. I also said disposable cameras, a projector. I then said like a mini fridge. I also said a Nintendo Switch. I said a keyboard. To long to go with the keyboard, you could ask for a wireless mouse and a mouse pad. And then that was all for my electronics and appliances section. Now the next section is beauty products and so the first thing that I have is a skincare fridge. I said a facial steamer and I then said like a teeth whitening kit, a jade roller. I also said one of those black head pore vibrating things like it's like a spatula kind of looking thing and it like scrapes and it like gets the pore stuff out. I don't know what it's called but like I'll insert a picture over here. Um, I said one of those or like a blackhead vacuum. I really want to try the peace out pore strips. I also put skincare uh, kits from like celebrities or like more expensive side like uh, i put down like fenty skin and kylie skin i have like a facial cleansing tool so like i know vanity planet has the spin brushes then i said face masks then i said to go along with the face mask you get like a face mask applicator plus like the little bowls or whatever you can always ask for skincare products they use on the daily then i said facial serums because i know serums are, can be really really expensive especially the good ones so then i said a nice razor and you could do this for both guys and girls um like there's dollar shave club for guys you can ask for like a electric razor or like a trimmer or whatever so like i know manscaped has some really nice ones then i said makeup so I just put down like um, makeup palette. I said lip gloss. I also said highlights, blush, mascara, um, like an eyebrow gel, all that kind of stuff would be good makeup to ask for. Then I said to go along with the makeup, I said makeup brushes or sponges. Then I put down like a list of appointments that you could ask for that are like beauty related. So I put down like a waxing appointment, a laser hair removal appointment, getting your hair like cut or dyed, a nail appointment, like a tanning appointment. You can ask for a facial, you can ask for a massage. You can ask to go get your hair like braided, twisted, anything like that. You can ask to go get a tattoo or a piercing. And then put down a microfiber towel. I then put down silk pillowcases and eye covers. I then I said like if you want to get into like doing nails and stuff like that, you could ask for an acrylic nail nail set or like a gel nail set or I then send like a DIY skincare or hair care kit. If you're really into like skincare and hair care, it might be fun to just kind of like make your own stuff. So I said like uh, body scrubs. So like I said a waxing pot and kit. I then said hair care items. I know for us curly girls, curly hair products be getting expensive. So 
asking for curly hair products would be a really good thing to ask if you want to get like salon brands or something like that for your hair you could definitely ask for like those because those of course are on the more pricey side i've heard about olaplex along with hair care items i also said like a hair mask and i also said a bonnet you can ask for lotion and perfume and then for a guy you can get cologne then i just put down like bath stuff so like bath bombs bath salts bubbles um bath oils anything like that for your baths and then finally the last section for like the beauty section that i put down is like hair tools so like if you need a straightener or curling iron um, a hair dryer with like a diffuser attachment if you need a new hairbrush combs picks anything like that next section is just my random hobby section um the first thing that i put on there is like a skateboard or a longboard or like a penny board or whatever you guys are into also another thing that i forgot to say that i literally was gonna say after i was done with the shoes you can ask for like customized shoes the next thing is books i need send new sports equipment so the next thing i said was like art supplies so like canvas pencils pens drawing pads I said a keychain. Um, I said like a journal or like um, a planner if you really like journaling, if you really like um, planning things. I then sent a gym membership and to go along with like a gym membership, I said you could ask for like a personal trainer, um, like gym classes, like you could do like swimming, cycling, Zumba, I don't know, just like any random gym classes. And like also um, a lot of these things kind of in here, we can't really do right now cause like we're in a pandemic, but like I figured I'd put it on there anyways, just like you could ask for them after the pandemic. The food subscriptions like, um, what is it? Daily Harvest. I don't know, there's just like those meal subscriptions where like they send you the groceries to your door and like they send you the instructions and everything. That'd be a really good thing for a college student if they're living on their own and like don't really know how to cook or anything. Then I said just like different experiences. So like if you wanted to go to a concert, you could ask for concert tickets, um, like a sports game. If you wanted to go somewhere like for a trip, if you wanted to try skydiving, like bungee jumping, anything like that, just some sort of experience you could ask for. And I put this little like part where it's basically just things someone needs. So like, again, for college students, newly people who just moved out, people who are struggling with money, anything like that like groceries, gas money, if they need like new silverware, new plates, new cups, new Tupperware, literally just anything that they need um, is also normally a really good gift idea. Then of course I said like gift cards. Then I said um, books on like zodiacs and astrology. I know a lot of people are really, really interested in it. And like all they kind of know is like, oh, I'm born in Leo, which is like literally all I know. Um, so I think like a book on like astrology or like zodiac signs, anything like that would be a super cool gift. I said like coffee or teas or hot chocolates or um, apple ciders or anything like that. Um, I know some of them can be like really, really expensive. You can ask for a car. I said like candles, kind of workout equipment. So like if you need like, <coughs> excuse me, if you want like a workout machine, like a treadmill for weights, resistance bands a yoga ball, a yoga mat, just like some sort of workout equipment. Another thing, go big or go home. You could ask for a pet. I said like new bags. I guess I could have put this in like the accessory section, but like if you need a new backpack, a carry-on bag, a duffel bag, a suitcase, anything like that, just like new bags. That's another thing I forgot to put in the clothes and in, in, uh, accessory section. I forgot to put like down a purse or like a new wallet. Another thing I said is a cookbook. I also said like a hydro flask or like a water bottle or something. Board games or card games are really good ones. Like a little heating pad or like one of those rice warm-up pads. They come in like really cute like designs or whatever. Really good for when you're on your period. So boys, if you wanted to get your girlfriend one of these, I bet she'd really, really appreciate it. And it's a super, super cute gift. So, but that is the last one in my like random section um, onto like small stocking stuffer I said chapsticks nail polish reusable straws cups or mugs fuzzy socks movies like a dvd copy of like their favorite show gum or mints candy snacks makeup remover little hand sanitizer face masks for like covid face masks um i have a couple of silk face masks that i really like that i also got off etsy a tongue scraper this is low-key like a Mm, it's not really a gag gift because some people's breath really do be stinking and really do need to be brushing their tongue so like a tongue scraper would be like kind of cool kind of kind of they might be offended if you get them a tongue scraper but like some people really need a tongue scraper and then i just said money again sentimental meaningful diy gifts is the last one my first thing is memory book photo book scrapbook anything like that a friend magazine i've seen a lot of them on tiktok a lot of people were doing that when they were like bored during quarantine and stuff then we have a five senses gift i'm sure you guys have seen it basically where you just get a gift that correlates to each sense next you could do like a customized necklace so you could do like a necklace with like somebody's name on it you can do a necklace with a date on it you could do like a birthstone necklace some kind of customized necklace that would be really meaningful to the person that you're giving it to then there's like a three 
3D photo lamp. I'm sure you guys have seen this as well. I'll put a picture up right here. A promise ring or like a charm bracelet or if somebody already has a charm bracelet, a charm would be a really good gift idea. I um, a tap vibrating bracelet. Um, I don't know if you've seen this on TikTok, but it's like a friendship bracelet or like a long distance bracelet or whatever. Basically, you and your friend, you and your boyfriend, you and your mom, you and your dad, whoever wear these bracelets, you tap it, it vibrates, sends a vibration to like the other person, basically just kind of saying like, hey, I'm thinking about you, I miss you, whatever you want to like that to mean. I think it's also a super cute idea. Then the next thing I have is like a weedy not smart, smart notification light. I saw this on TikTok and basically what it is, is like somehow you connect your phone notifications to this light and let's say your boyfriend is a gamer and your boyfriend is playing games and he's not answering your texts well if you text him it's gonna light up the light and so he'll see that he's getting text messages from you then i have an explosion box then you have gift baskets then i have like a photo blanket a customized gaming controller i also get like customized candles at yankee candle um you can go in there online and like customize it and put a picture and like change the name and like put whatever saying on there you want. Then there's like those Spotify photo frame things. Then there's also these friendship lamps, which are kind of like a mix of the notification lamp and the friendship bracelet. Basically like you tap it, it turns on, it turns on the other person's lamp. Um, I believe it changes color. So like if you and your friend wanted to like correspond a color to a message or whatever the case may be, you could do that. Um, then I don't know what these are called, but like, I've seen them on TikTok a couple times. I just call them photo binoculars and it like kind of looks like binoculars, but there's like a circle thing that kind of looks like a CD and has photos on it and you put it in there and then like you flip the switch and the photo changes and you can look at the photo like through there. A stuffed animal is always a really good go-to and like kind of personal gift. Um, I don't know if you've seen on TikTok, but um, sorry, a lot of these are from TikTok, but like the little mood octopus and you can get like a Build-A-Bear with a voice in it. And then finally, the last thing that I have on here is like a nice chain and then that's all for the sentimental and DIY meaningful gifts. But now, for the moment that everyone's been waiting for, the giveaway information. Me and my older sister Dominique are going to be partnering or collabing or whatever for this giveaway. Um, she just started a YouTube channel and she wants to get some supporters and just get out there and stuff like that before she starts making videos. So basically that's kind of what we're using this giveaway for. Um, also just to kind of give away to you guys for like Christmas spirit. So basically what we're gonna be giving away is this Keurig K compact single serve K cup pod coffee maker. And I'll just insert a picture. This is the exact one that she got um, from Walmart. I got you guys is a bag of Starbucks coffee. This is the actual whole coffee bean. So when you guys get this to use it in your K cup, you're actually going to have to like take it to a Starbucks and get it ground, which they can do that for you in case you did not know that. But um, this is just the Christmas blend espresso roast. So this is me editing this. I just want to let you guys know that I did not get you guys the whole bean coffee just to be make you guys go do extra work um, to go get it ground and everything. Um, one, it'll be a lot fresher if you get it freshly ground um, at the store. And two, I didn't want to like put it in the box or whatever and ship it to you guys, whichever one of you guys ends up winning it. And then it happened to like spill or something and then it's a whole bunch of coffee grounds at least if it's coffee beans you can like save the coffee beans and put them back in the bag versus the coffee grounds it's kind of like mm, in the trash you go so that's why i did the whole coffee bean it's a pound of coffee um you guys can look this up on the starbucks website or the starbucks app or whatever to see what all is in this but i got you guys this and then the last thing that you guys will be getting is just like a pack of little reusable k cups for your keurig um i'll put a picture of like basically what they look like i don't know if it's going to be the exact ones but you get you get the point the rules you have to be subscribed to me you have to go and subscribe to Dominique. Um, I'll have her link down below in the description box for you guys to go click on to subscribe to her. You have to follow me on Instagram and my at is always in the description box. And then you have to lastly follow Dominique on Instagram and her at will also be down in the description box below. So that's basically all the rules. And then finally, after you're done with those, you have to go comment done along with comment your Instagram because we are going to be checking to make sure that you're following both of us to be able to get an entry in the giveaway so just in case the comments are turned off which i hope they aren't and i don't think they will be but just in case they are if the comments are not turned on you can go ahead and just screenshot that you're subscribed to both me and dominique and like just dm me on instagram and be like hey i'm done like i'm this is my entry to the giveaway here's the proof or whatever and then we'll put you guys into the little randomizer thing and that's how we will do the random comment picker thingy instead of comments if the comments are turned off but if they are not, which I really hope they aren't, make sure to comment down below. 
So basically what we're gonna be doing is just using like a randomizer comment picker thing um, to pick out a winner. As you guys are seeing, this is going to be November 20th. It's a Friday. So as soon as you guys see this, as soon as this video goes up, this is when the giveaway gets active. This is when it opens up. It will be closing at 12 a.m. on December 14th. We'll go through your Instagram, make sure you are following us, make sure you're following all the rules. Then we'll DM you. Um, we're expecting an answer hopefully before 12 hours. If they do not answer within that time, then we will DM another winner. But hopefully we will have a winner completely claimed and chosen by the 16th of December. So we can hopefully get it mailed out to you and everything. And then we will publicly announce the winner on December 18th. Um, I will announce it on my 18th Vlogmas day or whatever. Um, I am doing Vlogmas in case you guys didn't know. But And then we will also announce it on our Instagram stories. Yeah, but that's basically all to the giveaway. Um, that sums it all up, I'm pretty sure. So I'm pretty sure this video is all done. Um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. And as I said, I'm doing Vlogmas, so if you guys have any Vlogmas suggestions for me, leave a comment down below. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye.